be the plan, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the plan, that's what they call me Hey, hustlers, come on in to the Hollywood hood, girl To movie, come on, y'all Look what the movie is We have a new movie today Yes, yes, and yes Come on in, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks and sit and chat with this hood girl to the hood. Y'all, the new movie today is uh, Cucumber Salad. Mm-hmm. And then we have Potato Casserole. It's been a minute since I made it, y'all. This is October. This is scene one, take three. Let's roll the tape. Come on in, y'all. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks. Let's sit and chat with this hood girl to the hood. Thank y'all for coming in. Let's say prayers. Thank you, Father God, for this day. Bless us according to your purpose and your plan. Let this food be nourishment to our beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Y'all. We have something new, but let's toast to a new meal. So, salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good water. Cheers. Y'all, this is piping hot. I don't know if y'all see all this smoke. This is potato casserole. And uh, how I made it, you know, you cut your... Uh, potatoes very thin like this if I can show y'all that cheese is you cut them this thin uh, you do uh, your ground beef I also added some uh, chopped sausage in there as well uh, two can well de depending on how big is your pan I did um, Two cans of mushroom soup and then two cans of uh, cheddar, cheddar, uh, cheddar soup, cheddar cheese soup. And um, of course, you know, we had the onions, bell pepper and garlic and green onion as well. And then I had some cheese that I put on top. I baked it for one hour and 15 minutes. And this is what it is. Yeah. So let, yesterday when I knew I was going to do this, I made the cucumber salad. Of course, you know, we have the uh, red wine vinegar. Italian dressing. We have the cucumbers, the red onions, the tomatoes, and uh, uh, a half a teaspoon of sugar as well, salt and pepper, y'all, yeah, on this salad. And uh, this is one refreshing salad. It really is good, y'all. So, yeah, let me give y'all a bite. Yes. Good. So today was a wonderful day. Church was really good. After church, uh, I got dressed and to go outside the house, and I went to Betty Lau's house. I did her hair. Hmm. Let me show y'all if I can. Uh, we did do a picture, y'all. I do do hair. I do charge for my work. And this was us, y'all. Today. So, yeah. She loves her hair when I do it. And I love to do her hair as well so and then we ate she cooked some um purple her peas uh and she did a, a fried a whole catfish she did some cornbread fritters y'all and the food was really 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 good so y'all here here you go this is so hot i know i'm gonna have to blow 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 and blow there you go y'all that's potato casserole. The first time I ever tasted this casserole, uh, my youngest brother, who was married uh, with a lady named Amelia, 
she fixed this on Christmas or Thanksgiving, one or, or both. And I've never forgot about it. So I do try to make it every now and again, but it is so good and rich, y'all. I brought the hot sauce because I thought maybe I was going to want some, but I don't know yet, y'all. Yeah, I'm so hot. The potatoes are cooked perfect. Y'all, this is so good. This really is good, y'all. I wish y'all can taste it. I would show we'll be passing that pen around on at this hood's girl table for real, for real. So how y'all Sunday? How your weekend was? Last night, uh, I did uh some hookah. I ordered I ordered some more uh uh sisha, and I got three more flavors that I've never had before. So I hope I like them when they come. And I had a couple of drinks and I danced again. You know, I love country western music, you know. That's one thing I hope, I hope, uh, with my partner, uh, when God sends him to me, that he likes to dance and like, and we have some commonality with the music as well. It's so good. The weather is beautiful here. When I got on the road to go to Betty's house, I had the windows down, y'all. Music playing. Mm hmm. Mm. That's bomb. That is bomb. This salad is too. Y'all, when I do this salad, I bit my lip. When I do this salad, I see the tomatoes. I don't leave the seeds in or leave. I don't I, I see the cucumbers as well. Cause you don't want all that juice, you know? Mmm. Y'all, I'm glad I made this meal. I bit my mouth on the inside. This is so good. I just want y'all to taste it. Mm -hmm. It is really delicious. I don't have anything to do tonight. I guess I'll get on Netflix and lay back on the sofa and... Yeah, just chill. Just chill. But this morning eating good breakfast. Oh, her mukbang looked so good. She had those uh, cheesy grits and the shrimp and the sausage. Mm. Oh, well, it's still hot. Mm. Mm. The flavors in this bowl. Damn, this is bomb. Mm. Ooh. This is so good. Y'all, do y'all look at um, Married at First Sight of Y'all at Season 11? I can't wait till Wednesday because, you know, that's when they're going to say they want to stay married or get a divorce. But last Wednesday, y'all, Woody and them, I heard, I don't know if, if, the, if the production... Uh, caught that because she was just saying if he didn't do something, I would divorce him because at the end, she said Amani, she said I want a divorce. I was I was in shock, so I'm hoping it's just the production stuff that they have to do. Y'all, because that was those were the only ones I thought was going to stay married, but oh my God. <laughs> What's going to be so Henry and Christina they're done.
Oh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Mmm. 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 Y'all was still smoking like crazy. Look at that. Ugh. That burnt. Inside my mouth. I probably should have waited until it cooled off a, a little bit, huh? But y'all, I'm hungry. My nose is itching, y'all. It ain't running, it's itching. Mm. Damn. It's so good, y'all. Y'all know Lynn had a, talk, a topic, uh, uh, thinking it with Lynn, she had a topic uh, about abuse when a man hits a woman, but I think it's equal because some women beat their men as well. However, don't tolerate it. And I'll just put that there because it, it you know, when I was young or uh, before I was out of mother's house, you know, at a, at a young age. Her and my father fought a lot. So we learned. But my mama fought back. She even shot my daddy. So, you know, was, we didn't see her getting beat up because she fought back. That mean lady fought back. And we learned it as well. All of us. Except the youngest uh, brother. Cause he had he had his own father, another father, or his own father. But I was in a relationship where a man hit me, I was in a couple of relationships where a man hit me. And I was like, my mama. <clears throat> I'm going to hit your ass back. But I know a woman can't hit as hard as a man. That's why I always had my weapon. Mm -hmm. And I, everybody was bleeding. Not me, but, but the two couple of men, the three men, I think it was three of them that thought, that thought they could hit me. They gonna always remember me because all of them got a scar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why I said today, that that was back in my 20s. Today in my 50s, I don't do no fighting. I'm gonna kill you. I said that on another video. We don't do that. If you if you if you if you got to fight each other, you shouldn't be together. And I'm very passionate about that too, y'all. I know y'all hear it in my voice. Don't hit me. Don't hit others. You know, uh, we learned it in the first grade when they say, uh, don't touch nothing that's not yours. Keep your hands to yourself, your fist to yourself. But, oh, excuse me. I don't know if people take that today. Well, I don't know. But I think everybody mean today. <laughs> I think all these generations, look like the Bible say they wiser yet weaker. But they wise enough to know you can, you know, women are doing things for them own, for their own self now. You know, a lot of men, I mean, a lot of women don't even believe they need a man just for one thing. That's to do the nasty. Sometimes I agree with that because <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm happy single. You know, People have, they do, they do, they make their own decisions. Just don't hit people. I don't even think people fight anymore. I think they shoot each other and kill you. Or stab you or something, I don't know. But I hear on the news here, a lot of the men who was rejected are going through a divorce. They kill the women. Some of them kill the women and the children. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. One thing for sure. If you're in a relationship and everything is so cheesy peasy and good, and you haven't saw his mean side, and then one day he pissed off and he put your hands on you, do not take I'm sorry. Do not accept the apology. Well, sometimes you have to say, you have to do it in his face because you don't know if he's going to kill you. When his ass go to work, you need to be gone and don't ever go back. Even, even if he called, begging, baby, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I was so mad. I didn't mean to do it. Matter of fact, don't we even answer the phone? If you call your job, uh, get a coworker to answer your call and say she doesn't work here anymore. Cause you know what? A lot of people don't know how to take rejection. So you know what? You sometimes I believe now today. You have to disguise yourself and move. I, I told y'all a long time ago, I remember this one man. He was he was like, I told y'all he was like 6'3 or 6'4. I, I moved in the middle of the night from him. On a whole nother side of town. Shit. Yeah, people crazy. And he found me like a month later still. I think he had an investigator, somebody following me. But that house had burglar bars, remember? <laughs> he couldn't get in. Y'all. Our time is over already. It goes by too fast, y'all. So... I'm going to eat the rest of this in this bowl, though. In both of these bowls. I ain't lying. Because now it's, it's kind of like cool enough to eat. So look, y'all. Thank you, Hustas, for sticking and staying. Thank you for coming back always, every day. I love you guys. So, um, you ready? Let's get ready to sing ourselves out. Um. It's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have another chance around. On the other side. So whatever you do today, do it good. Do it with a purpose. Do it with a plan. And of course, y'all, do it with genuine, genuine love. But this movie is now over. I love you. Bye-bye.